healthcare professionals have been facing an emerging challenge to find the most effective method for collecting, measuring, codifying and analysing clinical data and the quality of care to ensure the best and safest in patient outcomes. The patient's interested in do they get back to work, are they able to maintain their relationships, they look after their kids and so on. And they're the kind of uh, outcome measures that we're interested in. So if it takes an extra day or two of hospital care to achieve better outcomes, we think that's worth, worthwhile. And it's being able to argue that use of resource that's going to be the challenge in the future. Surgical trainees learn the culture of surgery from their mentors. And an important part of that culture is the concept of lifelong learning, continually reflecting on their performance and their patients' outcomes. And by using MD Analyze, we're demonstrating to our trainees the importance of co continually collecting data and analysing and reflecting on our performance. MD Analyze, the award-winning clinical knowledge management system, is installed in leading clinics and hospitals worldwide and continues to improve the quality and affordability of care by benchmarking outcome statistics for peer review, clinical audits for safety, quality or performance management, secondary use of clinical information for training, accreditation, research or clinical trials, data collection and analysis for specialist clinical registries, testing the business case for new procedures or devices, providing objective evidence for improved financial safety and clinical outcomes. Uh, there are a lot of tools that have been developed to answer questions such as what is the outcome after head injury, what is the outcome for tumours, what is the outcome for spine surgery, hip surgery, knee surgery, they're all specific. MD Analyze has the ability to incorporate any outcome tool in a specific way and as new outcome tools are developed to incorporate those. So that in a department each surgeon will have their own specific interests, they'll have their own outcome tools they want to use and MD Analyze can manage that. This is how MD Analyze works. First, it links to all existing data sources using HL7 or XML technology to create a master patient record using all available data. Secondly, it uses code sets to isolate and codify the most valuable clinical information, usually from the free text fields. And finally, the MD Analyze patented search and analysis engine is used to aggregate the most valuable codified data and provide evidence for improved financial safety and clinical outcomes. At the time of an operation or a clinic visit, there's a little bit extra work involved, putting the information into the system, either by filling out forms or doing it directly on the computer. But the time that you then save later on for the M&M process and all the quality assurance activities and producing publications and so on uh, is orders of magnitude greater than the amount of time spent collecting the data. MD Analyze will analyse and report vast quantities of clinical and multimedia information for the complete range of clinical subspecialties. Let's look at the example of MD Analyze used in the subspecialty of neurosurgery. A neurosurgery code set shows a patient has been diagnosed with a cerebral haemorrhage. The database enables us instantaneously to view the clinical pathway of treatment linked to this diagnosis and from within that pathway select particular events. This event information and the pathway have all been downloaded from existing data. At this level of the database we apply our own internal code set for specific procedural record and detailed forms that may collect articles of data of interest for a specific surgeon. The standard coding system has one code for brain haemorrhage. We think of brain haemorrhages as being hundreds of different varieties according to the location of the abnormality that has led to the haemorrhage, the particular clinical features of the presentation and the actual nature of the abnormality that has led to the, led to the haemorrhage. And all of these things are indicators of disease severity that will help determine the outcome. In this case, we could be selecting operative data and we've identified high-risk criteria which enable the collection of very specific cardiac and other non-cardiac risks associated with this operation. In addition to viewing the clinical pathway and detailed record of a procedure or an assessment, MD Analyze also records the relevant multimedia content. In this example, we could bring up very quickly a few MRIs and from a particular set of MRIs, highlight one in particular that we may wish to annotate or use for training or other purposes. A person presenting with a brain hemorrhage could vary from someone with a minor headache to someone who is comatose. There is a question that often arises whether the people who present who are comatose should be actively treated or whether that's futile. I've been able to use MD Analyze for my own data to show that we have actually pretty reasonable outcomes for those patients and that justifies the ongoing active care of those patients. 
This new example is from a database based on orthopaedic data, primarily from hip and knee replacement operations. Once again, when we select the particular diagnosis, we can show the clinical pathway from this diagnosis and data, which has been collected from other medical systems. We can then select any particular event. In this case, we choose to select a long-term follow-up of the patient. And from within this follow-up, we could then select the particular score or assessment, which demonstrates a longitudinal view of assessments. Here we show improved mobility and knee functional scores over time after an operation. From the diagnosis, we've been able to navigate quickly to another particular clinic visit where this patient was reviewed, and we can now select a different assessment protocol. In this case, the SF12 score, which automatically brings up the results for this assessment and the longitudinal view of SF12 physical and mental component scores for this particular patient. I'm interested in knowing specific information about some of the operations that I do. If I put a clip on an artery, I want to know how long that clip is on for. Uh, and I can design a custom form that will record that information specifically for my operations. And it doesn't have to be recorded by other members of the department who don't necessarily want to keep that information. We also demonstrate the ability to run complex queries for searching and analysis of data. In this example, we've designed a query around those patients with a knee society score less than 60 at their three-month follow-up after a knee replacement procedure for osteoarthritis and also who have a comorbidity of obesity. We can run the search now to identify those patients who meet these criteria. The database automatically conducts a series of complex searches to retrieve the results for this group of patients. The results of this search can now be viewed and patient records can be viewed individually or as a group. The group's demographic and gender distribution can be quickly charted. All complications associated with surgery for these patients can be identified and charted as a percentage. And all possible outcome scores can be captured at any intervals of care. In this example, the Nice Society score has been charted as a histogram for their pre-operative scores and their three-month follow-up. This could quickly be modified to review another time interval, in this case, 12 months. You could also view this group of patients' aggregated data against any of the other clinical concepts recorded in MD Analyze, their past histories, their diagnosis, their clinical visits, admissions and records of all operations. MD Analyze also gives you a longitudinal view of the average scores for this group of patients. In this example, you can see the cohort of patients has shown continuous improvements in their knee society score after the operation from 24 to 36 months. And at this stage, there's been a drop in average score performance, which is typical of a large group of patients where only those with complications continue in the study. Even these patients have shown an improvement again up to the 8 and 10 year follow-up. One of the things that MD Analyze is particularly useful for is looking at outcomes over a long period of time. And that can be an individual patient or groups of patients with similar conditions where you can graph uh, outcome scores, so objective measures of outcome, over any period of time. Complex analysis that used to take months, even years, now takes a few minutes. MD Analyze, delivering value from clinical data. MedTech Global, technology for health.